All right, um, I'm back. Now I'm working on a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton, 1979 Briggs and Stratton. And uh, what's going on with it is that uh, it wasn't. Um, some of the valves were. Uh, they, they they were leaking, so it wasn't. It was having a hard time starting and. So now what I'm doing is I'm uh, lapping the valves and, uh, ho uh, and that should fix the problem there. But it was also backfiring to the carburetor, or not the carburetor, uh, the exhaust. So, but yeah, it's, uh, this one's coming along. This one, this engine is off of a uh, an old tiller, uh, J.C. Penny tiller. So, and everything else uh, seems to work on it. Good. It, when I when I got it, it it was running, but it was running really rough. And then it just eventually, actually, um, one of the the exhaust valve got stuck. And uh, I got that unstuck and ran it for a little bit and then now then it just eventually wouldn't start or you know it had a hard t really hard time starting so uh, I figured it it was the valves so and I looked out the va at, at the valves and it was uh, sure enough the valves so and uh, also gas was getting into the oil into the crankshaft uh, uh, crankcase so, um, we'll have this up and running here soon, and we'll, uh, I'll come back to you when uh, I get done lapping these valves. Actually, here, let me show you, give you a little demonstration on how to lap valves. Let's set this down. You'd be able to see that. Okay, here we go. You just kind of this. Okay. Oh. Suction is a little bit. Suctioning the valve. Well, I did it uh, a little bit prior to uh, showing you. Oops, shouldn't have done that. But anyway, uh, you got to put lapping compound on it, and that's that's what I put on. Just valve grinding uh, compound there. And uh, what you do is when you're done. Yeah, see, the wipe down the valve. And the valve seal, the valve seat. And uh, there you have it. And uh, so, that's how you lap valves. I think eventually I'll need to get a new valve for the uh, intake. So, anyway, that's it for today. We'll come back when it's running.